On job site, we use post-installed rebar to connect a new structural member to an existing one. In order to get a monolithic structure, the used mortar must be approved for post-installed rebar applications and the contact surface must be rough. The design of the system connection is based on Euro Code 2 to determine the amount of reinforcement required and the design anchorage length. Euro Code 2 specifies two formulas for the anchorage length for two different applications. The first formula calculates the design anchorage length when there is no reinforcement to splice the new rebar in the existing structural member. The design anchorage length, LBD, is equal to alpha 1 times alpha 2 times alpha 3 times alpha 4 times alpha 5 times LB required. LB required is the standard anchorage length. Phi is the rebar diameter. Sigma SD is the stress acting on the bar and FBD is the bond strength coming from the rebar. The alphas are specific factors. Alpha 1 takes into account the shape of the rebar. Alpha 2 takes into account the position of the rebar with respect to concrete cover. Alpha 3 takes into account the confinement by transverse reinforcement. Alpha 4 takes into account the confinement by welded transverse reinforcement. And Alpha 5 takes into account the effect of confinement by transverse pressure. In the end, be sure that the product of Alpha 2, Alpha 3, Alpha 5 is greater than or equal to 0.7 and that the design anchorage length is greater than the minimum required by Eurocode 2. The second formula calculates the design lap length where there is parallel reinforcement in the existing member to splice to the new rebar. The design lap length L0 is equal to alpha 1 times alpha 2 times alpha 3 times alpha 5 times alpha 6. The difference in the design anchorage length is the factor alpha 6. Once again, be sure the design lap length is greater than the minimum required by the code. The minimum anchorage length is a requirement to be checked, but it must not be the basis to calculate the anchorage length. In some cases, instead of designing the anchorage length based on code requirements, unsafe and unoptimized solutions such as 10D or 40D are used. For a fast and optimized design, use our software Profus Rebar. Once those calculations are done, the installation process can start following the IFU of Hilti products. Be careful, correct cleaning and correct injections are key steps. Contact us for more information and look at the Hilti Hit Rebar Design Method video to learn more on how to optimize your design.